as if Rob even turns up at the factory at all. Well, he should be grateful he's got a job to go to. Oh, please. He knows as well as we do the position's a joke. Head of distribution. I mean, he might as well call himself Chief Box Packer. Yes. Oh, hi, Roy. Um, I just was going to have a coffee, but you know what? The smell of that bacon. Which is it? Um, uh, Roy. Oh, Roy, would you, uh, would you be so kind as to find me some fresh scouring pads? It's like, uh, it's like trying to clean a saucepan with a cotton ball. What's up with him? He's not himself today. Mm. Was a bacon sandwich, was it? I'll oh. tell you what, Sylph. Can you make it two? We'll have two coffees as well. Mm. I'll bring them over. Right. Oh. In case you haven't noticed, the job situation is pretty rough out there. And how do you think Rob would be doing if he didn't have his successful sister giving him second chances every time he messed up, eh? How successful do you think his sister would have been if she hadn't have abandoned him years ago? To fend for himself, eh? Him and my mum. You, you can't blame yourself for living your own life. No, maybe, but I could have made his a damn sight easier when he'd needed me. Oh, so you're making up for it now? After all the stunts he's pulled? Mm-hmm. <laughs> We've pulled a few of our own, Peter Barlow, so don't get on your eyes just yet. Head of distribution? What the heck's that anyway? It's a job. Just be patient, yeah? Oh. So you're just going to be a pet poodle or you roll over so she can tickle your tummy? Just keep your head down and get on with your work. Carla will get what's coming to her. Four. <laughs> I love a man with a firm hand. <laughs> we'll be late for work. Well, you don't want to be too keen, do you? <laughs> Through? Yeah, cheers. Oh. You want to be careful. You're going to do yourself a mischief. I think it's daft, you know, all this body beautiful stuff. Everyone's doing it. Not around here, they're not. You'd be surprised. Most people work out these days. Mm. I blame that Lewis Smith. I know it's a cliche, Chess, but it's what's the inside that counts. That's what people say to mingers. Hey! You are not a minger. You are a kind and beautiful lad. Especially on the inside, yeah? <sighs> Unfortunately, it's not your insides that make you look good in a T-shirt. That's not a very nice thought, is it? Look, if you're doing all this for Katie... Lifting weights, it ain't gonna change things. I'm not doing it for her. She's made her bed, she can lie in it. Besides, I must be doing something right, otherwise I wouldn't have a date tonight, would I? A date? With who? Beth's niece, Sinead. Oh, right, so that's what all this is in aid of, is it? No, I'm doing this for me. I'm sick of being pushed around and treated like I'm some little wimpy kid. Do you mind? Hello? Look, well, this mess, look. Oh. oh. Roy. Roy, will you go upstairs and take 20, please? Which is it? No, I'm busy. You're insulting the customers. No, but look, Roy, I mean it now. Come on. Hiya. Hi. Listen, I, uh, I spoke to Katie last night, and she's not going to mention anything to Rizzy. Right. That's good news, yeah? I suppose so, yeah. What do you mean, you suppose so? Well, this is cosy. But we're just talking, all right? Yeah, I'm sure that's how things started last time. Why X men though? I mean, they get the Avengers because the Avengers people, fantastic for four of them. But X men, we've all agreed to move on, yeah? It was just a stupid one off. Yeah, well, it better be. Oi! Don't look at me like that, coming in here shouting the odds. I've done nothing wrong. Nothing. I'm not sitting here being lectured by you. Oh, um, how is Chesley, by the way? Tina. Yeah. Just leave me out of it. Maybe it's an X chromosome thing, you know, it gives them special powers. No, it's because the leader's called Professor X in it. Tears. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'd be fine if everyone just left me alone. Oh, Tina, what's going on? Nothing. Well, I'm going to have to leave you now. Okay. Bye. 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 Was back working here, and we noticed Tracy hasn't turned up. Carla, the girls are asking about Rob. Is he coming in today or what? Oh, why don't you ask him yourself? You're late. Yeah, that's my fault. I got carried away with breakfast. 
I wanted to make sure he had a proper start to the day. Oh, oh that's nice. Well, I hope you had your fill, cos you can make up for it at dinner. Oh, you've got her well trained. And many have tried. All right, you lot. That's enough from the peanut gallery, thank you. So, we're on, then. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for having me back. What? No, no, nothing. Well, come on, then, chop, chop. Then knickers won't march themselves out of here, will we? On it, boss. Looks like someone's turned over a new leaf. Hmm. Yeah, let's hope so. Have you finished the sills? Last coat's going on, Owen. Yeah, but you put the undercoat on first, didn't you? Yeah, of course. No, mate, the undercoat. I told you, Carl. What a heart out. I've just had my hair done. <sighs> the sills will all have to be done again. Well, do you want me to get on with it? No, I'll do it. I'm not an idiot. Hey, calm down. Take a deep breath. What's going on? Look, I appreciate you coming along and trying to help Carl, but you know what? It's one step forward and two steps back. One tiny little mistake. Yeah, but it's not for the first time, though, is it, mate? Look, why don't you just help me shift some rubbish or something? Good idea. And you, young man, you can give me the guided tour. I've always wanted to own a pub. A part own a pub. Right, come on, let's load up the van and head down the tip. Look, you're working too hard. You're no good to me, are you, if you peg it before we open? Have you had any breakfast today? No, I'll be fine. No, come on, I'm taking you down the cafe. Oh, no, honestly, Stella, I'll be fine. I really want to do it. Go on, get gone. Bet you've got loads to do. All right. <laughs> Don't think so. <laughs> Blimey. Were you pair trying to impress? Yeah, well, we're hoping for a gold star at the end of the week. Look, enough of the whip. I know he's your immediate boss, but remember who owns this place, won't you? There's no need to bite her head off. Yeah, sorry, it's false of habit. Listen, I'm glad you decided to come back. Well, you know, ex-con without any references. World's well, not exactly my oyster, is it? OK, so these rolls of silk you're collecting for the old tree order. Kirk's still off? Mmm, we need them today. All right, I'll sort it. Oh, great. Hey, with any luck, you might get that star after all. <laughs> I was just kidding. Since when did my little brother lose his sense of humour? Hey? Hmm. Patronising cow. Yep. Now, listen, we have played nice all morning. We've tugged our forelocks and we've curtsied to Cruella. What's the plan? Rob? What? There is a plan, isn't there? <laughs> There's always a plan. <laughs> it was never going to be straightforward, was it? Mm. You can say that again, but don't. <laughs> you know, I can't even turn a corner anymore without seeing Gary or Izzy or Owen. Or Anna. Mm. Exactly. And I've got Katie giving me evils every time she sees me. Not to mention this is Owen's flat. And you work for him. <sighs> it has a flaming wind ass come to check my temperature or give me vitamins. I'll get rid of him if you want. What? I'm causing nationwide manhunt. <sighs> Hello? Hi, Stella. Oh, hi. Yeah, come up. Stella? Do you want to I didn't come here to scrounge my lunch. Yes, I know that. Do you want one? Yeah, go on then. Right, but um, don't say anything to her either. She's got enough in her plate in the pub. Of course, mate. You all right? Hiya. Oh, hello, Tommy. OK. Yeah, you all right? Um, I'm not stopping. I just wanted to check you still wanted to be on the road for next week. Yeah, yeah, great. Are we um, all on track to open on Sunday? Oh, I flaming hope so. I need to hear the sound of those tills ringing. My bank account is running on fumes at the moment. Are you excited? Well, as long as we open on schedule, yeah, I'll be thrilled. There's still lots to do, though. And my mum's gone AWOL. <laughs> Big surprise. Still, she's more of a hindrance than help. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I've missed the Rovers. Yeah, me too. Right, I'd better go. Mm. No rest for the wicked. Right. See, See ya. ya. See you later. Bye. Tuna, all right? Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. T, do you think it's a good idea to go past the Rovers? Oh, not you and all. Well, you know, you're going to be on your feet all day, long hours, late finishes. To be honest, it'd be a relief to get back there, where people see me as more than just a walking womb. Yeah, but on top of the hours you're doing for Owen, you're going to be rushed off your feet. Nope. It's all going to work out just fine. So, um, you're out to go and pick up this silk order, then? <sighs> yeah, I suppose so. I mean, I've driven the van before, and it'll get me out of that place for a bit. Mm. Hey, why don't you come with me? We can find a nice little lay-by along the way. Not this time. Now, that worksheet that Carla gave me said that this silk's worth about 20 grand. Yeah, all right. I'll be careful with it. Hypothetically, what if after you'd picked it up, it went missing? Lost, robbed, or, or whatever? 
Well, it will hold back the old tree order, but... Ah. Carla's insured for that kind of thing, isn't she? My thoughts, exactly. Give me strength. What's up, Dev? Oh, I keep getting all these mail through for Sunita. So the kids see it coming through the letterbox with her name on it, and it just confuses them. Um, these are two for one. All oh, right, I'll get another one. Yeah, it's just a credit cards and catalogues and ch it's just rubbish. Can't you cancel them? I refer to my previous uh, give me strength, right? You phone up and it's uh, press one for this and two for that and then the line goes dead and then you have to start all over again. You know the best thing to do? Write to them and enclose a copy of the death certificate. That usually does the trick. Cheers, I'll try that. Excuse me. Hello? How's it getting on? up and down. Oh, I know how he feels. I think after the funeral, you think it means it's all over, but then all the ripples of their life come washing up on shore. And a packet of them little batteries, please, love. I thought I'd got over my late husband's death, and then, on his birthday, a card turns up from the local Chinese, wishing him many happy returns. Spelt his name wrong. I sobbed like a loony. <laughs> That's, um, 1895, please. Uh, and Brian, are these in some sort of bother? You're right on your own? Yeah, yeah, sure. Do you need anything, Deb? I hate to say anything, but I don't think he'll ever be the same. Right, you all set? Yeah, I've got your mate's number and directions. He can be trusted, this lead, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look, I've known him for years. Come on. Like we said, Carla won't be out of a penny by the time the insurance pays out, while we will have 20 grand to do whatever we want with. And then I won't have to listen to any more of her shouty commands, like I'm a pet Labrador. Rob! His master's voice. Sorry, I thought you'd gone. I need you to check this order. Oh, no, it's all right. Tracy's going by herself, yeah. I'll uh, see you later. See right? you later. Well. Perry, you seem to be working together all right. Is that such a surprise? Look, I am aware the only reason we got this order hey, is because of you. We're all on the same team I know now. the job isn't exactly... Carla, look, it's a job, and I'm grateful, all right? Now, do you want me to check this order or what? No? Come on. Have you not finished that yet? Yeah, sorry, Gloria came in again. She reckoned that the... Soft champagne look more like coastal mist, doesn't it? These people, do they not realise it's all flaming magnolias? Hi, um, can I have a word? Yeah, listen, um, can you fetch the rest of that paint that's on the van? Yeah, of course I will. Can I help you, love? Is everything all right with the baby? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just, um, I have to resign from the yard. Hey? Eh? Look, it's nothing personal, it's just... It's been great to tide me over all this place has been short. It's just that I'm kidding myself if they can work two jobs much longer. Right, yeah, you know, I understand that. Are you sure you're going to be all right for money, though? Yeah, I've got my shifts back here. I'll, I'll be fine. Look, love, I, I don't mean to interfere. But you know the easiest way for that, don't you? But? Don't interfere. Right, see you. You all right? All right. New gear? Yeah. Let's have a look, then. I know we clobber me. <laughs> if I try not like one of the presenters off Top Gear, you're the first person I'd come to. Fine. Listen, mate, I know that Ryan is Michelle's kid, but I don't agree with any of this, to be honest. <laughs> right, because you're a real one-woman guy, aren't you? Touché. Look, I just wanted to say that I think you're doing the right thing, not fawning all over it. Women like to know who's boss, you know I mean? you got to show them who wears the trousers. Really? Oh. Good luck with that. So, giving him relationship advice. Show me where's the trousers. I know what to say to him. Look, I know I'm not having a go at Ryan. I, I'm, I'm just saying it's a mess. Yeah, well, I don't like it either. But to be honest, it's none of our business, is it? It's when she's stopping over at ours with a kid. Excuse me, it's my flat. 
Are you trying to tell me who I can and can't have there? Is this you showing me who wears the trousers? Nobody wears the trousers in our relationship, babe. We are equal partners with everything. Yeah, except when it comes to the housework. I do my bit. <laughs> when? I over through for you at the weekends. For me? It's up for us. <laughs> and the cooking. I like to cook. Yeah, you like eating. Cooking's just the preamble. Oi. <laughs> oh, I do feel sorry for Ches, though. Doesn't really deserve it, does he? How was he? How do you think? Go on, have a lift. Is it Lee? Yeah. And you are? Never mind names, let's just get on with it. Trust me, there's no CCTV cameras. If they had that many smashed, the coppers have given up trying to get them repaired. There you go. Seven rolls. Quality silk. Roger that. Gorgeous. What are you doing? Well, I've been robbed by ruthless criminals. I've got to make it look real, haven't I? <laughs> right. That should do you. Ah, thank you. Mm. I'm sorry about asking to bring you back. Um, is everything okay with Adder? No, not really. Yeah? Why? What's he been up to? No, oh, he's been, uh, he's been playing up. He's been cheeky with the teachers and fighting. It's not like him. Yeah? Well, you know, Dev, I mean, kids act up in all kinds of different ways, don't they, when he's going through what he is. Simon was too young when Lucy died, but you know all that stuff when it kicked off with Carla and Leanne? Yeah. Yeah, he even ran away from home a few times. Yeah. Yeah, so what are you trying to make me feel better here? No, I'm just, you know, just saying you've just got to keep talking to him. Well, to keep talking to both of them, because you don't want him bottling it up, believe me. No. When did you get all super nanny? Oh, it's the stuff that we talk about at the groups, you know, our mistakes. Yeah, a lot of it makes sense. So if you ever do, you know, want to chat, then I'll bore you stiff with it. He's such a hero. <laughs> <laughs> right, my work here is done. See ya. See ya. So, I'm sorry to miss you again, but I've left the kids with Mary and I have to pick them up. So I'll pop back to lock up, you know? OK, that's fine. Okay. I told you, whenever you need me. Cheers. Hi, Sal. Hiya. He's lucky to have you. Yeah, I was a mate in her, and so was Sunita. I'm just glad I can help. Oh, Sophie, you're too good for this world. <laughs> Actually, I was going to make a chicken and mushroom pie tonight. I could just as easily make another one. You don't think Dev would be offended, do you, if I took him round a chicken and mushroom pan? <laughs> no, I think if what Sunita used to say about his cooking was true, then he'd really appreciate it. <laughs> you look nice. That new shirt. Cheers, yeah. You having a beer before you go out? Do you want to see some ID? No, of course not. Dutch courage, is it? Look, I'm having a beer, OK? I'm not a kid. Right, OK. You don't have to bite me head off. Yeah, and you don't have to watch what I drink. Well, that's me told. Sorry. It's all right. Well, the Sinead's going to be swept off of eating, isn't she? You looking like this. I hope you haven't spent a fortune on all this new gear, though. Yes, I work at the market. I haven't paid retail for anything in years. <laughs> Mum would be proud. Oh, that's what I live for. I am worried about you, though, Chet. And before you bite me head off again, I am allowed to worry, you know. It's my job. I know. I saw Katie and Joseph before. Oh. How was she? Don't know. I didn't ask. We barely spoke. But she's getting on with her life now, so... It's best that I get on the line. Oh, Chez. I don't know what to say. Oh, you could try. Have a good night. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> Going on a date. All right. Go. <laughs> Tracy, will you please pick up? Thank you. Uh, we're trying to lock up here, and we're waiting for you to get back with the silk. She's probably done one. Off through the channel tunnel with the silk and the van. Huh? 
living life as a hippie. Sleeping in the van by night. Selling silk to tourists in a garden centre car park by day. Mm, actually, that sounds really nice, doesn't it? Mm. Hey, Rob, get in here now. You shrieked. Where is she? I don't know. She's not been gone that long. <laughs> Are you kidding? It's a 15-mile round trip. She could have done it twice and still made a brew. What are you saying? You think Tracy's gone on the run with a few bolts of silk? Mm. Oh, hold on. This was meant to be a fresh start. It's day one and already you're accusing her of, of nicking stuff. <laughs> oh, shut up. We're winding you up. The only thing I'm accusing Tracy of is terminal laziness. <laughs> She's probably parked outside some happy eater somewhere catching 40 winks, isn't it? She could have a, a flat tyre or the, the silk might not have been ready. Nope. She picked it up on schedule. I checked. Have you rang her? Of course I have, but she's not picking up, is she? Look, anything could have happened. Yes, that's what I'm worried about. I want to go home. That's fine, I can stay. Well, I'm not going anywhere till that silk arrives. <laughs> what are you saying? You don't trust me with the keys? Mm. Rob! Trace? Come here, what the hell happened to you? Look at this state here. Come here. I'm sorry. I was robbed. What? They took everything. I'm so sorry. Hey, come here, come here. Well, we're back in Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>